Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video we are going to be modeling this shackle. Let's start together. It will be a very useful video for especially beginners. And that's why I choose this one. And firstly, in the foam plane we are opening a nib sketch. And then we are placing here a construction line in the middle. And after that, I'm creating one in the middle vertical line and starting to give my dimensions. This will be 40 millimeter. And here we have a line, and then we are coming to point with our cursor back. Program gives me an arc, and I'm coming back again to point. I am having again an arc and I'm completing my sketch. This two will be equal, this three will be symmetric to give for the, for giving these relations we are uh, pressing our CTRL button in the uh, keyboard. This rate radius is twenty, this is seventeen point five and be this point will be in the center merge the white will be 20 millimeter and this is uh, okay for uh, for square and in the top plane we are creating a sketch and we are placing here one uh, circle which is 10 millimeter diameter after this operation we just go swap and select our sketch and program creates for me this form along the line we uh, continued our profile and in the front plane again a sketch in the middle in the middle one construction geometry and again here one construction geometry after this point we have line and here also we can place one line and then a three point arc this is 10 millimeter already and we say to this arc you are radius 10 and from here to here I'm giving a dimension which will be 10 millimeter and we are giving this dimension while we are pressing the shift in the keyboard in total this will be uh, 20 millimeter and later we have 2 time radius 1 on this edges yes uh, and last thing that we are going to do closing our profile and mirroring our uh, sketch the other side if program gives this kind of error we just make diagnose and accept easily we get without problems and revolve in this axis this two are going to be revolved And after we are giving 10 millimeter radius to our edges here, here, and here. Exactly, it is done. And now we creating a sketch in the middle, in the surface. It is 11 diameter, and we will cut through all, through all. And after this point, I will make you a chamfer, which is 0.5 mm, 1, 2. Uh, this shackle in this uh, part is we are done. Now we are going to create our bolt. And firstly, I have here a sketch, again, 10 diameter. And we are going to make 40 mm extrude. After this operation, we are having here one 
8 mm diameter this will be 7 mm and we combine and the last thing for bolt we are going to create bolt head I put there a hexagon basically choosing and placing here and we make this a line horizontal and the dimension will be 17 and we make an extrude for 7 mm again and future scope will be this that means we are going to combine merge the result with this shaft and the bolt head after this operation we are creating on top of our uh, bolt head a circle and making tangent and saying to my program flip side to cut with 45 degree and the feature scope will be only this operation will be done in this part in this body and now uh, we are going to give some chamfers 0 0.5 here 1 mm chamfer here and in this point uh, we are going to create our helix reference geometry 25 mm from middle uh, plane to other side I create a plane basically it was reference geometry and then the plane that I want to use as a base right plane and lip offset once we done with this we just select our plane and creating here a sketch or we can just select this ball diameter and we can say convert to entities after this operation we make a helix height and pitch 30 mm height one and a half pitch with zero start angle if you make 90 starting angle going to be changed we can create your helix and on the front plane I'm going to create a sketch now and completing our helix operation helix cut and we make here a basic tool profile and connecting this to middle align with construction geometry and then making vertical then I'm providing a symmetrical profile and then I'm putting here so choosing this point and the helix and piers and we have a 60 degree tool profile and this will be 0 0.75 and first I need to create a 2 mm, uh, 8 mm uh, diameter on the bottom and then yeah, this is a little bit different than we make that's fine uh, without having any dimension then we will continue and we create our profile and swap cut we just cut our part and at the end we have a helix and I'm saying here I'm creating a sketch convert entities and a cutout like this if there is problem also here we can create or cut out and other side and cut Oh, we made a boss extrude. It would be a cut extrude. Yes, we have it. And uh, now here we have a hole. All going to be in the middle of this straight area. 3 mm 
and then I am cutting through all the operation like this and let's show our bodies we have now bolt and shackle body and here we must create a knot just basically choosing this uh, surface because dimension is same I have a hexagon I just convert it here and the dimension will be 7 mm we remove merge result we can hide this for a while and then create a plane in the middle of this uh, nut after this operation we create here a sketch and I'm going to use this existing uh, circle what I used to cut here and I will say my program cut for me flip side 45 degree the surface and then choosing mirror while I have a plane and choosing this feature I am making a mirror to other side and I have three body and now we will go cut the nut with a good trick for you move copy and I'm copying my bolt I'm saying ok and hiding the exist uh, the original one and I have here my uh, nut and bolt now copied of them and combine subtract this is the main body this will be a sub body I'm saying my problem cut for me this and I have automatically original helix which is same with same values from the bolt if you go cut section you will see that it is same in fact in the reality it is not like that there will be gaps but uh, for a modeling that's fine now we are making a tutorial and the last thing that we are going to make we are going to create our cutter pin here and we play create a sketch and we change display state in the middle I create a construction geometry and also here one we say that this will be 6 mm and now I'm creating a line and coming back to my line I have a arc and here again coming back I have again arc this arc have a tangency relationship automatically we should uh, think that always you see uh, always you're gonna see the tangency we make this two line symmetric and between them will be 0.5 mm gap and we combine these two uh, point it merge and we are giving here a 1.5 mm it is a little bit looking big 1.25 mm radius and here radius will be 1 and uh, I'm going to give here a 10 mm long and here again a 9 this both point will be horizontal and I'm having here 20 degree angle and here 10 mm radius yes we need something like this we can say this point will be 2 mm that's fine basically a sketch which is looking like on the screen to make it a little bit clear I'm going to hide solid bodies and put them again in a sketch basically values for sketch like this 
After this operation, uh, we just go create a plane, reference geometry, and first separate this line, and then this point. Normal to that uh, plane, I create now one uh, plane. And here I'm going to create a straight line. horizontal and the uh, radius will be let's say 1.5 uh, diameter not radius and now I have here a sketch tangency and I'm sending unnecessary areas with trim I wanna make this area is 0.3 millimeter and this is perpendicular to here this will be on this midpoint everything seems fine maybe we can change to this point 1.75 and try first all these elements in fact having standard values uh, now we are making a modeling that's why I'm not so much uh, giving uh, paying attention to values that's important thing is creating our uh, model and this is our swap line this will be our profile but we have a problem I must check on sketch let's have a look what is the problem Maybe the dimensions are a little bit big. We can make this 1.5 and try again. That's also not sure. I think I'm going to make here one millimeter and then trying again yes I think dimension was our issue probably the radius values of these areas was too small to continue the path without any problem and then I can make here for example two radius and then the changing value again we have it now the problem was the minimum radius in fact uh, but uh, we successfully complete the model I have I hope you have learned something nice uh, thank you for watching if you like my video please make comments